What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. Hey, Katie. Welcome to Stock Island. These are the hoods of Key West. Um, Key West has uh, this little area here for the residents, the uh, you know working class housing. It's it's a little bit more densely populated and uh, kind of like a hood. It doesn't have it does not have the highest crime rate in the island though. Most of the high crime rates have been the areas where the tourists go. Any area that has tourism will always have higher crime. So what's kind of interesting about Key West is that um, you know the hoods don't have the highest crime rate. The downtown area, far west side of the island, does. There's a French bakery here. Uh, so we're just gonna tour like the more like normal looking neighborhoods. It's not all fancy resorts and stuff. There's like normal neighborhoods. And uh, it's kind of a commercial area, but there's a lot of like, little trailer parks in and out of it. So we're just going to explore it so you guys can get an idea of what it's like here on Key West. For the regular people, the ones that uh, the working class people here, not everybody lives in a resort type place. Some people live in, in like normal Key West. You know, the normal area in Key West can look like. We're just like the normal people live. It's not all glamour and tourist trap. Get that chicken off the road, man. There's chickens everywhere. Some people don't like the chickens. They get mad at them. I like chickens, so I'm not going to complain about chickens. I would like to get some chickens. The ones that lay the blue eggs. You would have noticed about Key West, there aren't too many, like, there are, like, you see, like, Rolls Royces and stuff, but, like, the average car here isn't all that fancy. No. There's, like, a lot of just, like, normal-looking cars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of trucks. Trucks? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of trucks, but there's a lot of like, like not people here just aren't in the cars. Like, are not. I see a lot of Kias. Trying to get Kia Sporting. Oh, I have that. When I met him, I was trying a Kia Sportage. Not cool, bro. Yeah, a those green. Are, like, that's rather gigantic. Those are gigantic. A green Kia Sportage. <laughs> I mean, this isn't fancy. Like, living in an apartment, yeah. this is what you look across the street. This isn't exactly a yeah. fancy, not exactly a fancy area to live in. I will never drive a green car again. How do you know that? You've crashed every single green car you've had. I know that. No. Uh huh. The Sportage was green. Something weird always happens. Like, I had to yeah, give like my car back to my parents because I got married. Yeah, and we're going to take care of you forever. You got a husband. Now you're a grown adult. What the crap, bro? Yeah. Get your life together, women. Uh -huh. I wish I could show this truck right here. I think it's balling. This feels like Miami in a lot of ways. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So I know we're drawing some. Uh, the other two, I crashed them. We're gonna. We got some hot residentials coming up. I know we're in a commercial area, but it's kind of mixed. But um, within these commercial areas is where these little kind of poor neighborhoods are. We're up in some neighborhoods now. Um, yeah, this is definitely hood. I mean, if you live in a residential neighborhood and you got like this next door, you're definitely, I would definitely call it a hood. These are apartments right here. Chickens, I love the keys, bro. I really have, like, I didn't realize I liked, like, I never thought I'd like Key West, but. I'm not going to yeah. tell you I don't, bro. I've liked it the time I've been here. Dude, there's a lot of, like, big trucks here. Is it ironic that some of the best memories I have are about selling scrap metal? You need help. <laughs> yeah. Chicken's fighting over there. Yeah. Although that thing is pimping. Because you never knew the price you would go and get. Remember that? Yeah. I'm gonna get key lime pies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm from the hood, though. Like the hood, though. Like really, really, really from the hood, though. Like where they. Oh, that's gangster right there, bro. That's not a business, though. It's just a... Oh, it's not a business. I thought it was somebody's, like, mobile home. Like, living in a mobile home, but have a Bentley around town. That's, that's ball right there. We like to do a little help. Is 
that a bow house? Or is it like a legit thing here, a little bow house? Yeah. But this isn't like hood hood. It's 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 a neighborhood. And by the way, guys, the word hood always means neighborhood. It's just short for neighborhood. A lot of people kind of mistake that right there for something else, you know. A lot of people always mistake the the word hood. Uh, I guess they interpret it a certain way, but not not necessarily. Like the word hood, all it means is neighborhood. Like it's, it's, it's it's an abbreviation for neighborhood, so um, doesn't exactly have to denote anything in particular. Sure, why people always take it that way. I've had a, seen a lot of comments like that, and on my channel, I'm just like, okay, hold on, now. hold on now. Land of scooters and jeeps and trucks. I'm not trying to be late. There's a lot of Cuban rice. There's just back in here. There's two Cuban rice. Just back in here. Oh. Oh, this guy's from New York. Lots of Cuban restaurants. I'm an island boy from Key West. That's a Cuban restaurant right there. And Siboney. Siboney is a uh, Cuban Indian tribe that's a very small. Another truck for a second. I can't believe how many trucks for a second there are in the keys, man. Siboney, like I said, it's it's um it's an Indian tribe of Cuba from way back in the day. And um You know, there's very few Simone people left. It's, it's a really small, small um, native. Oh, it's really Native American. Okay. Native Cuban. No, Native American. Really? Native American means from the Americas. It doesn't exactly have to be from the United States. Yeah. yeah. You can be Native American and not be from the United States. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if you knew that. There's a lot of Haitians on this side of the island, too. Yeah, so Native American can be Canadian, can be Mexican, can be Cuban. You can be Native American and not um, exactly be, um, you know. There's a lot of Haitians out here. So it's really part right here. There's a lot of Haitians. I ten. Oh, this is definitely hood up in here. Yeah, this is hood. This is like a mockery looking type of stuff up in here. Definitely hood up in here. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is this is definitely hood. Most like look like, at mostly Haitians. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's mostly Haitians. Yeah. Almost looks like a slum like from another country. Yeah. That's pretty hood in there. I'm just an island boy. I'm a king. Well, I know it had hood. This is a hood for real. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Whoa, that ditch is deep. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> like, oh, more scooters. I'm not used to scooters. From Hogfish Bar is back this way. That's a really popular bar in the city. I've heard a lot of information before. This is hood out here for real now. This is hood. This little park right here is hood. You even got graffiti. Look at the monopoly guy. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. I love this place, bro. It's definitely hood for real, though. Very high population density. Oh, this little trap park in here is the hood for real. It almost looks like you're on the islands, like for real. Like, that's how hood it looks. 
I didn't know Key West had hoods like this, bro. This is like hood for real. You got people. Like, this is hood for real. Like, this is like island hood type of stuff. Like, this reminds me of Cuba, like, looking type of hoods. Bro, they got real hoods up in here, bro. They got island hoods, bro. Shout out to everybody watching from Key West, man. I had no idea they had hoods up in here. I just figured it'd be so expensive to live here. There's no way they'd have hoods. Right? Yeah. You would just naturally assume, okay, it's so expensive to live in Key West. So, like, you would almost assume, oh, it's locked off. Came on there. You would just naturally assume, like, okay, it's so expensive to live here. There's no way they're going to have hoods because, like, how do you even afford it? No, they got them. Alright guys, so we got chickens everywhere. Hold on, we got a car behind us, so I gotta speed up a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of Haitians here. I'm talking Creole. Yeah, that's a really popular. Look at that dunk, bro. Look at this car. What the crap? Haven't we seen this car before? Somewhere? Look at this seashell car. This car behind us stop because I'm trying to go to the bottom. I know, but I'm trying to like. Oh, I see it's going where we're going. No, it's not. It's just stop because we stopped. Now it's still falling. Let's get to the city, boy. Say, I'm telling the way that I got out of the way so you could pass, bro. I'm going to go to the There's a lot of bad smells here. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Like, everywhere you go, you smell like nasty, like rotting food and stuff. Yeah. Right? Other types of city smells. <laughs> like, it smells more than, than New York City here. Yeah, Manhattan smells more than this? No, Manhattan is actually... Oh. Look at that right there on chrome, bro. Got an Impala on chrome. Wanna be a baller. Shot caller. Bro, this is one of the most neat hoods I've ever seen. You know, there's a lot of Cubans and Haitians. I want to see if I can get around the, that but trail park right there. Like, there's other ways around it that are it's way bigger than what you see there. Let's see if I, there's a way to get in there. That dog right there. I love how like like here in Key West, like there's white people in the hood. Yes. Like just going to other parts of the island. Very interesting. Lots of litter. So I'm so hood. I live on Key West. Can you imagine like a Key West Eminem? A little white boy coming straight out of Key West. From the mobile homes, from the pits of the mobile home parks of Key West. Can you imagine that, King? Because I sure can. There's a lot of scrap metal on the side. Nobody seems to care for it. Probably to gotta take it to Miami, I guess. I don't know if there's a scrap yard out here. You might have taken it so far, man. It'd be worth it. Some of them might be nice. Is that look nice or is that look better? Might be nice. I'm not sure. That looks hood. I see a lot of cars. The smell is everywhere though. I guess there's a lot of seafood. You know, there's a lot of people fish and stuff, so the smell of fish is everywhere. It's not very pleasant. I'm gonna get key lime pie. I'm gonna eat key lime. That looks nicer in there. 
Oh, they got a Cuban food truck. You see that? In the RV park, bro. I, I'm telling you, I'm starting to like this. We'll I wonder, I wonder if, they, if these people pay a lot rent or if they only sell more homes. Hmm? Oh, a lot bro, look, these are pretty nice. Ones. These are like campers. All of them are campers. Trailer or lot rentals. Uh, so they don't own them? No. Hey, I, can you find my pill? The water's right behind these too, by the way. Yeah. I didn't know there was how many Haitians here. It's a lot of Haitians. IT. IT. Oh, oh, papa. You better have my money. Don't ever play with Haitian people's money. Never play with Haitian people. I still have a guy who calls every year. Every other. They haven't called in a while, though. I don't know since they call you. Like, they're kind of, this is, I mean, it's island. It's not hood. It's, I don't know. Like, that looks hood right there. I was kind of like. I, I think he figured out when three years in a row he called. He was very disappointed. And it was still a white woman. Yeah, like, these white women don't have my money. Yeah. This black volet. This black volet no have my money. Last time he called, I was in the Starbucks line. They're like, "Welcome to Starbucks," and that was the last time he ever called. He figured out I was at Starbucks, and he's like, "Oh, you ain't Starbucks with my money." No, really. He's like, "Oh, you are a white." <laughs> you better have my money. You better have my money. Never play with Haitian people's money though, for real. Yeah, we offered him the five dollars. I was at the point where I was like, look, dude, I'm just going to give you the $5 just so you leave me alone. It ain't even my dad. I'm He's just like, going to take I it. I don't want it if it's not from him. You know what Haitian people should get into? Haitian people should get into debt collections. Yeah. I imagine that you, like, you've got a debt collector. Mm -hmm. Some guy like from like India. I'm mm -hmm. a limit, Ahmed. I'd like to help you collect your debt. Like, you're like whatever. You know, I'm not going to give you nothing. What if a Haitian guy calls with it? Imagine a Haitian debt collector. Like, oh, papi. You know pay Baptiste Pratville. Their money. <laughs> you imagine the Haitians are calling you? Because they will be very persistent about getting that money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn, bro, that's a brilliant idea. I'm going to get rich. One, one, of my, one day, I'm going to have an idea that's going to get me rich or, or, or sued. Yeah. You imagine, like, a Haitian debt collector? That would be awesome. Like, oh, oh, papi, you no pay Prat Bill Baptiste. They make you, they, they give you hospital. You no pay, papa. You volé. You Paris volé. You know how my money. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not so hilarious. That is so, any Haitian people watching, like, shout outs, bro. Um, that would be the business right there. A Haitian debt collector. Like Haitian. I like Haitian people. That's one thing I miss about Florida, bro. Just dealing with Haitian people. Dang, that is a brilliant idea, bro. A Haitian debt collector. Cause you know you're gonna have to give them their money. Like you're not gonna like. If it's a guy in India, it's just like, bro, you hang up and that's it. Haitian guy, like you hang up on a Haitian guy, like, oh, oh. He gonna call you he back. Gonna call you back. You're like, oh, oh, papi. No, oh, you. Owe you this. know how my money? We're gonna send them goons. <laughs> you gonna get my money? And more, 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 more Wanna go eat there, Cuban? Sure. All right, Cuban. Is it open? Where do you park? There's plenty of parking. Right yeah, man. I'm gonna send Kodak Black, and he's gonna get my money for you. Uh, okay. There's a funeral truck at the restaurant. That's uncomfortable. It's no, that's an actual limo. Oh, it's a limo. Why is it? Why is it black though? Cause someone wanted a black limo. Dude, it looks like you're going to a funeral. I love that hogfish mirror over there. Bro, I am liking Key West, man. I'm liking this, bro. Dude, that is a brilliant freaking idea. Have that real quick. A Haitian debt collector. Yeah. Better have his money. Better have that money. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant, bro. Dang, man. I'm telling you, I, I, uh, I have awesome. ideas that are going to make me rich. I'm so excited for El Mocho. Yeah, El, El Mocho. El Mocho. El Mocho. El Mocho. Let's get in there real quick. Get some Cuban food. I wonder if there's a Haitian restaurant here. I haven't had grill in a while. 
Miami. Miami. Yeah, maybe on the way back in Homestead. I haven't had Haitian food in a while. Since I got back to Florida, I haven't had Haitian food. Uh, when you have Haitian food, try griots. Grill. There's a mirror right there. New buildings going up in all directions. Hey y'all, uh, I don't know if y'all knew this, but um, we got rid of the squat. Back to stock on the Yukon. We're back to stock, yeah. Cost a lot of money to do it. Cost a lot of money to take it off too. Back to stock. Put the whole new suspension in. All right, y'all. We're gonna get some cute, cute of mine. Are they open? Nice cars here. All right, guys. Checking off from QS.